Now then YouTube, I'm the Tough Man, and welcome back to my Thorncraft 4.2 complete guide. And today, well in the previous episodes guys, we've done the basics, and we've also done Harnessing Vs, which is all this kind of setup here. If you haven't seen them, make sure you go ahead and check them out. They'll probably be in the playlist. Um, not only that, but I, I, might, I might put a, a link to the previous parts in the description below as well. So, okay guys, today we've got a couple of uh, different items to actually show you guys. We're going to move from the Thaumaturgy tab, there's nothing else that's new uh, onto the, on this one. Everything is pretty much the same as what it has been before. Again guys, don't forget about the warp effects. Now, going into uh, further detail on the warp effects, there is something to actually counteract the different warp effects that you've got. And that's the first item that we're going to be covering in today's episode. Purifying bath salts. Stress relief for the mind, and that's certainly the case. Purifying uh, bath salts can be created by putting Salith Mundus in with Aurum, Cognitio, Ordo, and Sano into a cauldron, with Salith Mundus, of course, being the catalyst, and you'll get a purifying bath salts. Warp is a danger for even the most careful of thaumaturges. For those that do uh, have done a bit too much dabbling, warp effects are probably more than just an annoyance. Purifying bath salts help with that. Simply tossing these salts into water will turn the water into a silvery purifying liquid that soothes away the stresses of the day and brings temporary relief from the effects of warp. It should be noted, however, the more warp a thaumaturge suffers from, the shorter the duration of this protection. The salts are quite fragile and will soon dissolve if tossed around a haphazardly. So, okay, let's get ourselves a little bit of a bath going on. Oh, yes. Okay, I've built myself a little bit of a bath here. Oh, yeah, this looks good to me. This I've had to put that block there because it was freezing. Um, this looks good to me. Purifying bath salts then. Let's chuck them in. Let's wait a little bit. And uh, we should find it that it changes into... Uh, let's go into survival, just in case. Warp ward. You can see I've got that there. If you if you get in it, guys... Ah, uh, yes. Look at this. I've already got it because I actually went and tested it over there. So you can get in it like that. And uh, there you go. It's fantastic to me. And you get that for quite a while, actually. So, get yourself lots and lots of purifying bath salts if that's something that you're going to be dabbling in is warp, because warp ward, and uh, you get it for quite a while. But I've got full-on warp. I've got total, complete and utter warp, because obviously I, I went into creative, got the creative book, and then suddenly I got all the warp in the world because uh, of all of the different things that I just found. So I've now got warp ward for 24 minutes. And that's basically how you use the purifying bath salts, guys. It looks pretty nice as well, actually. I like the little bubble effects and, and the silvery liquid. And, ah, it does feel nice and warm, I've got to say. Maybe we're just missing some fire on the back here. No, that's a good idea. Ah, there we are. In a frozen biome, I feel completely, completely warm. Brilliant stuff. Purifying bath salts, guys. Okay, guys, so we are back our, at our pool of death. Oh my goodness gracious me, this looks, this looks bad. And it will be bad. Don't, do never, ever drink this or touch this or whatever it is, guys. Because this is called liquid death for a reason. Alright guys, so this is a forbidden knowledge, and it is a moderate forbidden knowledge, so be aware, you will get warp for this particular thing. Uh, the liquid death. This liquid is so dangerously toxic that virtually nothing can prevent it from dissolving flesh, bone, and even harder substances. Nothing alive, or that even displays the semblance of life, can survive it. Apart from obvious practical applications, this vile substance has another interesting property. Any essentia, any essentia a dissolved creature possessed form into crystals that can be harvested. I will leave it to the reader's imagination what those, uh, what uses those crystals can be put to. And I've got one particular use for you guys right here. I've got some mushrooms, mushrooms, should I say, that I'm going to slap through there. And as you can see, I just managed to get a Terra one. Now I've gone ahead and got myself some crystallized essence as well in the form of Lux, Bestia, Terra, and Ignis. Now, of course... Let's go over to our thing over here, our Alembic, our alchemist uh, kind of system that we've got going on here. Let's just get rid of some of that. There's the Herbert. Shut that. And there should be Aurum coming through here. There we go. There is the Aurum that was in that particular Alembic. There we go. So it's all nicely sorted now. Let's go ahead and put our crystallized essence in there. You can actually smelt it up for single points of, uh, of aspects. 
There we go. So you can see I've got loads of stuff in there now, nothing in the top one. Uh, uh, I think I've already got Terra. Let's open that one. Now, by all means, guys, I am not, I am certainly not an expert at these pipes. I, I, I'm not a great lover of these pipes, in all honesty. Uh, and I'm not, a, <laughs> I'm not an expert at it by, by far. So please keep that in mind, guys. There's probably an easier setup than what I've got currently, as you can see right in front of you here. Um, but unfortunately, that's all I know my way around. So there's some looks. All nicely done. I think, is that it? Apparently we've got nothing in anything else. Well, I could swear I had bestia in there as well. Let's open that and see what happens. Oh, well, there you go. Some best here in the system somewhere. So there we go. Uh, and that's one of the uses that you can do for the crystallized uh, for the crystallized essence. There possibly is more. However, I'm not entirely sure on what these are just yet. So just keep that in mind, guys. Once I find out, you guys will obviously know. So there you go. That's what you can do with the crystallized essence and the liquid death that you can see right in front of you here. That's pretty bad, actually. That's pretty bad. So there you go. I tried using like a decanting golem, but it never seemed to actually take anything out, which was a shame. Uh, but anyways, again, not a, not a fan of these pipes and certainly don't know what the hell I'm doing with them. I need to learn it because, of course, it's part of it now. It's part of it. I have to do it. So anyways, guys, that is Liquid Death. Okay, guys, we're going to move on to the next tab now, which is Artifice. Now, in here, nothing much has changed, really. You know, you've seen all this kind of stuff inside here with the water, with the pressure plates and of course the new warded glass in there as well from the uh, 4.1 videos I've done. If you haven't checked them out, please go ahead and check them out because all of the items are in there as well. So, uh, moving on then guys, what is new in Artifice? Well, I have to remember actually what that's actually new. I think all of this stuff, the runic shield in the runic augmentation and stuff like that, it's uh, stuff that I've already covered. Um... Other than that, guys, down here there is one particular thing that is brand new. The infusion enchantment's been there, uh, you know, the brain in a jar is forbidden knowledge. But this Thormium Fortress armor is brand new, guys. And I'm going to be going through that right now for you. Um, the Thormium Fortress armor uh, has many things to recommend it. But its, basic con but its basic construction leaves it inferior to diamond armor. By improving the const construction process and complexity, you have found a way to create armor of exceptional craftsmanship, craftsmanship uh, durability, and strength. Each individual piece of Thormium Fortress armor has the same protective properties as diamond, but has greater durability and offers additional protection against magic and fire. The biggest benefit, however, is that the individual armor pieces is designed and constructed to be worn together. Each additional piece of this armor worn increases the overall protection offered by all other pieces and improves its visual appeal. As with most objects constructed from Thormium, the armor is easy to enchant. And you can go ahead and make this, it's an infusion recipe and the, the majority of it's minor. The Thormium Fortress Helm is Thormium ingots, two of them, with the Thormium Helm emerald and two gold ingots will make you the uh, Thormium Fortress Helm. Just don't forget the 24 Metallum, 16 Precantatio and 16 Tutamen to be able to get that. Uh, Thormium Fortress Cuirass is four Thormium ingots, a Thormium chestplate, a piece of leather and a gold ingot with 24, 16 and 24 Tutamen. And of course, last but no means least, the Thormium Fortress High Guards, which are three Thormium ingots, the Thormium Leggings, Leather and Gold, 24 Metallum, 16 uh, Precantatio and 20 Tutamen. Now, there's a whole lot of different things on here. The goggle, the helm of revealing, we'll get to that in a second. And of course, some of these bits and bobs here. But I'm going to cover that in uh, possibly another episode, guys. Um, shall I really quickly? I think I will. I think I will. I think I will. Okay, guys, uh, in previous episodes uh, of doing these guides, I've been criticized for not using the runic altar to actually show you how it's crafted and how to actually use it. Um, some people have been saying, well, some some recipes actually need nine of these um, th uh, of these pedestals. As long as you try to keep them as symmetrical as possible and as long as you've got things dotted around that will help towards all of that, uh, that, that bad stuff, then you're all right. Uh, candles, skulls, heads, zombie heads. And now if you're using Britannia, you can use things like this, uh, which is great as well. Don't forget you can use crystals as well as all sorts of different stuff. Now, over here, guys, I have my uh, Tutaman, 
my Precontest show, my Metallum for this to all start. So, should we go? Let's go. And there it is, getting all the Metallum sucked into it. Just keeping an eye on everything, making sure it's staying on the uh, the pedestals. Should do. I mean, it's a minor thing, so it's you know I'm not doing like tons of uh, tons and tons of instability going on here. And there's the Tutorman going into the Thormium Helm in the middle. And there is the Precantatio. Once this is finished, it'll start eating up those particular items that are on the pedestals. There goes one of them. There goes the other. Some gold there. There's another piece of gold going in there. And then finally, it should be this emerald. Et voila! We have our fortress helm. Which is great. I need to go into this again. For some reason, it's broken my thing again. Like what it did in the last one. And of course, it goes in that slot there. Oh my god, that looks fantastic. Yes. Yes, that looks great. Why am I in a dress, you might add? Well, that's another story entirely. Um, anyways, I think that's pretty much going to be it for this episode, guys. Join me in the next one. We'll go through all of these different ad additions that have been added on here. The Grinning Devil faceplate, the Angry Ghost faceplate, and the Sipping Fiend faceplate. Um, two of which are Forbidden Knowledge. And the Helm of Revealing, which you can probably guess at what that will do as well. Until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this and it's been, uh, if it's been informative for you guys, please go ahead and leave a like on this video if you can. If you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and do so for more videos on Thorncraft 4.2. And don't forget, I do a Thorncraft and Britannia Unite series for both Thorn Thorncraft 4.2 and Britannia, the latest versions of whatever it is that's out at the current stage of which I load up that particular episode. Uh, and I do uh, it, it in like a let's play fashion. So until next time, guys, I've been Toughman. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, stay safe.